You're not going to the funeral? You've seen one, you've seen them all, Sal. Priest or minister or rabbi says, we are gathered here to honor the memory of... Uh... No, 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 wait. The new thing is to... Celebrate the life of this man, Bruce. A loving husband. Who cheated on his wife. A loving father. Who was too busy to go to his son's basketball games. An example to others. A true pillar of his community. Who drained his family's bank account, left his business insolvent. No thanks, I know it all by heart. And you don't believe the old legend that murderers show up for their victim's funeral? Hell yeah, they show up. You can't arrest somebody for attending a funeral. Isn't it nice that so many people showed up? And you have our deepest sympathy. Thank you very much for coming. Please let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you. Thanks for offering. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Excuse me. As a matter of fact, there is something you could do for my sister. Oh, Just anything. say the word. I know it's presumptuous, but Diane, well, without going into all the details, I can say it would be extremely helpful to have an advance on Bruce's life insurance. I don't know what has to happen procedurally, but I know... There is no life insurance. Bruce cashed in his policy. We thought at the time it was unusual. Well, thank you. I had to ask. Oh, yes, of course you did. Possible to believe he didn't tell his own wife. What the hell are you doing here? Paying my respects, like everyone else. You're not like everyone else. You're a noose around my sister's neck. Only if you think she's guilty. She's guilty of the same thing I'm guilty of. Giving you the time of day, believing a word you ever said. I was gonna rake you over the coals for standing me up, because it really made me angry. But you haven't seen me angry until you've seen me angry at someone who takes advantage of my sister or hurts her in any way. Stay away from her. That's really up to her. Diane wants you to stay away. She asked me to tell you. And I was going to when I came by your apartment, but at the time, the police were there. So I thought I'd wait for a better opportunity, and this is it. Stay away from her. Take care, Diane. Thanks, Sal. Gossip and innuendo have no place in a judicial campaign. Hi. Hi. Mom, can I put that business card in my memory book? Of course, honey. And his driver's license? Sure. Cool. He wasn't interested in any theory of mine, only a confession. I am a prime suspect. You're kidding. Shouldn't have been any surprise to me. It's perfectly logical. But still, it unnerved me. If you're innocent, you have nothing to worry about. That is exactly what I say to reassure my clients. But the truth is, there's plenty to worry about, even if you're innocent. I worry that as long as they think I'm guilty, they won't look anywhere else. Any resources they may have will be spent investigating me. And Mike Chulak. Yes, and Mike. Diane, don't, don't take offense to my asking, but are you sure? Sure he's innocent? Absolutely. Not the least doubt? No. Kate, we were together the whole night. But Detective Kuntz is just like you. He suspects Mike. And me. Which means someone else will get away with it. And it'll be hanging over me the rest of my life. It's already eliminated any chance I may have had of being elected. Maybe it's best to drop out of the race. I'm not dropping out. I won't campaign. I won't spend any money. I won't be elected. No, but dropping out would only be seen as an admission of guilt. 
Especially because at the rate they're going, they're never going to find out who actually did kill Bruce. What can you do about it? That's what's so frustrating. Kate, I don't even have enough money to hire someone to find out what Bruce did with our money. You don't think he spent it? <sighs> I'm hoping he didn't. How could he? No. I have a feeling something went wrong with his business, and he was protecting Brian and me by putting it somewhere, a secret account, I don't know. You're not being realistic, Diane. It's more likely he lost it in the business or he had a gambling problem. Oh, not Bruce. Not Bruce? A week ago, you would have said the same thing about his having a mistress, not Bruce. his office, his records, his balance sheet, his, his computer. I just feel better doing something, even if we don't find what we're looking for, which is... Who knows? I'll call Melinda Lopez. Maybe she can help. She's halfway to a degree in accounting. She's bookkeeping for several stores here. Brian jacket. Go over to Daddy's office. You can find some things for your memory book there. And maybe Joanna. Nothing in here. No, practically nothing. Nothing useful. Deal memos, internal memos. No budgets, no spreadsheets. No inventories, no accounts receivable. Isn't that funny? Almost every time I've been in here, the computer's been on, and one or another of them is typing away at it. Do you think he kept everything on floppies? I don't know. I'll go through his disks at home. Did he try to recover anything? What? Recover? Erased files. No, honey. If it's erased, it's gone forever. Not unless you write over it. Yes, it is, hon. Erased means gone. Not on a computer. You can use a recovery program. Don't you know how to use the utilities? Hit menu. Huh? Now hit utilities. Go down and hit recovery. Hit recover what? It'll ask you what. You punch all and it'll give you everything that's ever been erased. How old are you? I am. <gasps> yeah, eight going on 20. Start with the most recent ones. If it doesn't recover everything completely, then the file's been written over. One, two, three. 21 of these are erased on the same day, the morning after. Do one. I'm imagining that you're the. Go to the bottom. What is that? No good. It's been written over. Brian. Brian, this is grown-up business. Why don't you go outside and read for a while? I want Daddy's computer games for adults. No. Maybe. We don't know. The bottom part of the document is lost. Try another one. I'm still shaking from last night. Bottom. Lost. Another one. Dear Brucie, I am still sore that you wouldn't let me do all the things I wanted to do to your body. When I am with you, I can't control myself. You're a sweetie. Joanna. <laughs> 